Hello everyone, this is Pablo again with Crafties915 and today I'm going to show you how to use your horizontal and vertical wheat lines on your Great Cut 4 software so that uh, you can make weeding easier, especially on those uh, permanent vinyl uh, decals. So if you want to learn how to use those uh, horizontal and vertical wheat lines, stick around. Okay, so here we are. Um, I have a uh, decal that I'm going to install on a wall and I'm using Oracle 651. Now, normally uh, we don't recommend uh, Oracle 651 for wall decorations because it uh, has a very strong adhesive. And if you want to remove it, it's gonna you know, bring the, the paint with it. But this is uh, all I have available right now. And so we are gonna use it. Um, and so I'm using Oracle 651. This is a 22 inch uh, decal that we're going to uh, install. And so I'm going to use the horizontal and vertical wheat lines. And so for this one, I'm going to click on file output. My output profile is already at Oracle 651. Okay, that's what I have it at. Okay, my pressure is at 60 and uh, my material width is at 22.9, so almost 23 inches. Um, I'm going to click on preview. And now if I were to cut this as it is, um, you notice that I'm going to be wasting all this vinyl in this area. So to solve that, I'm going to go to options and rotate axis. And now it's going to align it uh, with Weiss on, on my vinyl roll. And so now remember that when you're uh, doing permanent vinyl, you're not mirroring your uh, image. You're leaving it as is because you're going to use a transfer tape, um, you know, to install this. So on permanent vinyl, remember, do not mirror your image. Now I'm going to install or select the horizontal and the vertical wheat lines. And so I go to options again, and I have horizontal wheat lines and vertical wheat lines, or you just press on the H or the V uh, keys on your keyboard. So horizontal wheat lines, I'm gonna do it once, and it's gonna go right through the middle of this uh, image of that decal. And I'm going to do it again, so now it's going to divide it into four sections. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do a vertical wheat line, which is uh, the V key. And it's going to go right through the middle of that. So that would be enough for this size uh, a decal. It's a 22 inch decal by six and a half inches, more or less. And so it's going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight uh, areas that are going to be uh, easily weeded out instead of having to weed everything out and use your scissors and all that stuff. You know, you have, uh, you know, eight sections that you can weed out one at a time. So I have that. Now I'm going to click on output and this machine will start cutting. Okay, so here's uh, my machine cutting through all that. Okay, so it's done. So now we're going to weed it out. Okay, so here it is. This is our decal that we're going to use. It's uh, 22 inches long by six and a half inches uh, wide, more or less. 
And I know it's not that big of a decal, you know, but this is just to illustrate how to use the uh, horizontal and vertical weed lines. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to uh, weed, especially this type of, uh, uh, you know, vinyl, the permanent vinyl. You know that it's very uh, tacky. Um, you know, the adhesive is very strong. And sometimes when you're weeding large pieces of it and a piece sticks to the vinyl that's supposed to uh, be transferred, it uh, ruins uh, your, your vinyl, your decal. And so by making it, you know, uh, smaller pieces to weed, it makes it a lot easier to work with. And so I'm going to start with this corner right here. And... You know, so that section is going to get done. And I can tell that my blade is getting a little bit old because I can feel some drag on my vinyl. And so, you know, check your, your, your blades also, uh, make test cuts. Um, I gotta confess that I, I didn't make a test cut. And so I could have increased my pressure a little bit more on that. But if you notice, you know, that this makes, uh, uh, you know, the weeding a lot easier you know, by weeding in sections. And so, in more manageable sections, you know, that you can easily handle. And so, Yeah, and I definitely need to increase the pressure a little bit or change my blade to a new blade. You know, whichever I prefer to do. But if you can tell that that's... You know, so by having these wheat lines it makes your weeding more manageable by having smaller sections to weed. And yes, definitely, I need to either change my blade or increase the pressure. Okay, and so here's the finished product. I definitely needed to increase my pressure or change my blade because uh, I could feel some drag on some of the uh, cuts. And so that's due to uh, not conducting a test cut before, uh, you know, doing this, this job. Um, you know, it's my fault, you know, for not doing that. I, I should have done that. Um, but uh, anyway, you know, doing the uh, horizontal and vertical wheat lines definitely helps you, you know, manage uh, these uh, permanent vinyl decals by uh, weeding out smaller portions at a time instead of having to weed out, you know, the whole thing at once. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson, this video. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment uh, below. Remember to subscribe and like our videos. And uh, we'll be seeing you real soon. Thank you.